Yo, what's going on, fam? Hope everybody's having a great day today. Okay, so uh, my buddy gave me this and told me, hey, you know, do something with this. So I wanted to do something that I've never tried at this, you know, magnitude of carving and stuff. So today I'm going to do a little bit of uh, just hand carving, some uh, power carving, um, even a little bit of like wood burning, you know, using stains, stuff like that. Um, anyway, let's get into this and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so on this part here, I just took my old pocket knife, right? And um, I just wanted to shave off some of the parts that will be stained, okay? And, uh, you know, left the part that will be the uh, the snake. All right, that kind of gave me an idea of where to, where to, you know, where to cut and everything. Give me more of an idea of where I want more detail at. Okay, now right here, you know, the shavings are getting everywhere, so I kind of went around back. Um, I went over a little bit more to give it more of a defined part of where I want to add more detail at on the snake itself, on the head and the body and things like that. Um, you know, I just kind of wanted to give it a little bit more definition. Okay, so on this part, I got everything shaved off, um, got everything, you know, cut, trimmed, a little bit more detail. I took a pencil and just kind of went over with a little bit of etchings of where I may want some of the detail. And right here is where I start some of the power carving with my Dremel. You know, I had limited tools, but hey, you know, the talent and the awesomeness is in you. So I'm just going to go over it and give it a little bit more detail and more defined. Now right here, as I'm using the uh, the rotary tool, Dremel, whatever you want to call it, um, I'm going over it, kind of kind of shaping up, uh, you know, where I want more detail, you know, kind of things like that, where the you know the head's going to be, that's where the head curls around, uh, give the body itself where it wraps around a little more detail, and uh, just shaving off a little bit of things here and there. Okay, now that I've got a lot of that done, what I want to do now is switch over to the wood burner. And uh, I've got a little tip that came with the kit and everything, and I'm just using that to go over the body a little bit to kind of give the scale look. All right, now it's starting to come out quite nice. Just kind of went over all of it with the tip, of you know, to make the scales and a little bit of the head. You know, just a little bit more detail. Next step. Now right here, I went over it with... Uh, a little bit of you know this and that and carved in a little more detail with the eyes and uh give the head and face a little bit more of a you know more detail on that and you know another step All right, now it's time for wood stain. Now this, I just used some uh, Rust-Oleum um, Walnut, American Walnut I got from Walmart. It's just some I had, so let's go. And voila, the finished product. With limited tools, you can still make something really cool. No, it's not perfect, but it's, you can still make something really cool with limited tools, what you got to work with. The awesomeness is in you.